talk about Nelly and Ashanti's relationship. And y'all let me know in the comment section what you think of this whole situation. Because, baby, it's a lot to unpack. Let's get into it. This is my opinion about Nelly and Ashanti coming back together again after all these years. I am happy for them and I am ready for it. I am ready for all the blessings that is to come for them. And I'm going to tell you why. Because those of y'all that don't know who Nelly and Ashanti is, Nelly is a hip hop artist. He's dabbled in different genres of music. He's an actor. He's a business person. The whole nine yards. Ashanti is the same way. She is an actress, singer, songwriter, producer. And she's a businesswoman as well. So when I heard the news that Ashanti and Nelly's back together, I'm like, oh, yes, it is 2003 again, because I am happy for them. And I am happy that Ashanti took the time to take this opportunity to let people know that we wanted to announce our happiness to the world when we were ready. I know people on social media was saying things about Ashanti, speculating that she was pregnant, speculating that they was married, speculating that they was engaged. But I am very happy that Ashanti went on entertainment tonight to let people know that we did things on our time. And I think we need to normalize that in our everyday lives. Like we need to normalize people are going to do what they want to do. And if they want to keep their relationship private, we have to respect that. We have to respect people that want to protect their peace, protect their joy, protect their happiness, and protect their partner. The only way that I would disagree with that statement is if there is hurt, harm, danger, or abuse. If you are being abused, I do not suggest you keep that a secret. I suggest you get help and that you talk to somebody. The only way that I would say that that would be odd or weird is if you don't tell anybody. Like, that to me is weird. Like, you need to let your family, you know, a trusted friend know. But if you don't want to let everybody know in the circle and you just keep it to yourself, then to me, that's weird. I don't see a problem with you hiding certain things about your relationship because there are people out there that can be envious, that can be jealous, that can just put bad energy to the situation. And then it makes you question your worth with that person when you guys have already developed a relationship of how you guys want things to go. I can't wait to see if she shares that that intimacy of the baby uh, or the baby shower, her wedding. I just cannot wait because as you can see in her face, if you guys seen the Entertainment Tonight interview, she was very happy. She looks so happy. She's beautiful, even more pregnant. And I could just tell that she is in a happy place, just like Nelly. Nelly is smiling ear to ear. I have never seen that man smile so hard in my life. Like he is really in a happy place. And I think we need to normalize that. We need to normalize people announcing things on their time and normalizing people sharing their good news when they're ready to share their good news. Because I know on social media, people made the assumptions that Ashanti was pregnant months ago, made the assumptions that they're back together months ago, made the assumption that they're engaged months ago. But I'm here to tell y'all to mind your business. Let people tell their news when they're ready to tell their news because we get into a space of we want to give their two cents. We want to share our perspective, our point of view, what we would do if we were in their situation. But at the end of the day, everybody has their own journey and you have to respect their space and you have to respect their privacy. And if you don't respect their space and privacy, then how can you say that you are their friend? How can you say that you are family if you cannot respect that a person wants to have this type of moment, this intimate setting, this type of vibe with the person they're gonna spend the rest of their life with. The person did not do the self work and you did not do the self work because clearly there was a reason why you guys broke up. So for them to recognize on both ends from her side of the interview that they both had to do some work, they both had to have some conversations and then they were public then they began to be more exclusive then they were out in different events then you know they told their close friends and their families like this is what it is but then they told us as fans okay i am engaged okay i am having a baby i am happy we are back together we are in a better space and i think people have to normalize that like i feel like social media has tricked people's minds into thinking when they see good in a relationship that there's no bad like you cannot tell me that you're in a relationship and you do not argue with your partner because that is just a red flag to me. Like you're going to have disagreements. There's going to be days when you look at that joke or like, who are you? Who are you talking to? But then there's days when you're like, I love you. Like <laughs> I can't speak for anybody else, but I'm just saying like there's no such thing as a perfect person. The only person that is perfect is God. I'm happy that women are taking a stance on pregnancy on their own terms. I am happy that Women are normalizing getting married at a certain age. 
Like I'm happy that people are genuinely happy. And I think we need to normalize people, you know, being happy with their decisions. And if you don't like their decisions, then you have a right to feel how you feel, but it's not what you say, but how you say it. Cause I can't believe y'all got on this internet talking about Ashanti out of all people when she be minding her business, drinking her water. And that is to say this, y'all let me know in the comment section what you guys think about Ashanti getting pregnant at the age that she's getting pregnant, as well as getting engaged and rekindling a relationship. Would you guys do the same? Let me know and I'll see you guys in the next one.